about 600 bucks. Morning guys, today I'm heading down to Tennessee. See my buddy Kevin, the Tennessee picker. As you can see, we got a little bit of snow overnight, like two inches. I warmed up my car, you know, did the remote start thing. It's like, all right, let me get this thing warmed up, get all the snow off of it, which I did. And I unlocked it, put my key in the ignition, and then finished getting all the snow off of the car. <laughs> and when I was done, I went to open the door and it was locked. Door would not open. And I even have an extra set of keys right here. So I'm like, all right, no big deal. So I run inside, get my keys, try to unlock it. Nothing. I'm like, okay, well, let's, you know, do the manual thing. Won't go in, won't go either way. It's not frozen, it's just like disabled or something. So, turns out <laughs> with my van model, there's a glitch where when you start the car and then shut the door, 60 seconds after, it locks and you cannot get in. Only someone from the inside can like unlock the door, which is just absurd to me. I, I can't believe there's that kind of glitch. Like, surely there's people all over the country where it's really cold and they're trying to warm up their car and get snow off of it and all that stuff, but. Yeah, can't get in, so <laughs> I called a locksmith. They're on their way here now. This road trip's just getting off to a little bit of a slow start. I don't even have my hat. My hat's inside the van. You guys probably don't see me, you know, without a hat too often. So that's that's how my morning's getting started, but hopefully it'll get better soon. Uh, my buddy Jamie is going with me on this trip, and Kevin's got a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of inventory. That's why we're heading down there. He just buys like crazy, and he's got more stuff at his warehouse where he can barely even like walk around. So Jamie and I are heading down there, and hopefully going to buy a bunch of stuff. All right, guys, I am finally in my car. It's been running for like almost two hours, but I am finally ready to get this road trip started. So let's go. What's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. Good Jamie, this is Kevin. Come on in. Bought a little present. <laughs> I heard on your video. Yeah. I'm, I'm a connoisseur of Diet Mountain Dew as well. Okay, so. awesome. <laughs> we will crack these up. <laughs> I was just packing up some orders. Uh, Holy cow, man. Is this your main one? This is where I work out of, yeah. The, most of the stuff that's in here is listed or is photographed or to be photographed. So, <laughs> yeah, wow. it's a little, uh, I tried to, I, I think I like banker's boxes better than I like tubs because they're straighter uh -huh. and you don't have the taper. So yeah. you can fit them on the shelves a little bit That's better. smart. I never thought about that. Um, that is true because I feel like my shelves, I could fit three if it wasn't for the taper. It right. takes up. Plus, check out how they stack back there. Yeah. I mean. So I can stack it all the way to the to the ceiling if I have to. So. Man, you got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. How many items you got in your store? Uh, I have a thousand fifty listings, but uh, in in um, October I was up to like twelve fifty. So I've sold wow. a lot. Wow. I've sold through a lot, and that's counting. That's not counting the multiple orders or the multiple listings. I have two thousand three hundred and something with the multiples man but this is amazing dude so all this is listed or pho uh, photographed you said yes mm -hmm. wow. it's not all listed it's all photographed and they have like i have a shelf and then i have the h1 h2 so i don't have them in bins i just yeah. put the shelf location this is awesome man you yeah. got a nice setup you said this is like five minutes from your house yeah it's like the next row to the left up there is the subdivision my... what do you have here like 700 square feet it's 600 600 it's 20 by 30 i have this one and the one next door yeah it's, it's 900 for both units that's a really good deal yeah it's a really good deal. you don't usually find anything under a dollar square foot mm -mm. down here man this is uh yeah and this is uh unlisted this is all unlisted except for all these guys up here these are the toys like yeah. barbies and x-men spawn 
right now my death pile is maybe three of these shells. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I uh I oh, buy a lot. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, more than I can process, as you can oh, see. Oh my god. Yeah. So, oh, I was going to show you this. This is pretty cool. It's a. Oh, that's awesome. But the only problem is it's broke. It's oh, that's not that big a deal. A couple pieces broke on it, but I that's didn't neat, though. What'd you yeah. get for that? Uh, I, I gave five bucks for it. That's a deal. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. cool. Man, thank you for inviting us down here. Well, well I kind of invited us down here, but thank you for letting us come. Well, I just hope you guys find something that you can make money on. I mean, well, I also hope that we can clear some out of here for you too, to where it's so a little I, bit more manageable. I kind of tried to make a path to stuff that you might want. Like, I don't know if you'd want. I don't know anything about amplifiers. Okay. And and stuff like that. Like, uh, there's a stack of records right there. Oh, nice. That I found at an estate sale. I don't know that they're in great condition, but I recognize the the, uh, the time artists and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So besides what's listed, mm -hmm. what else is off limits? I know you've got a lot of toys that you've bought to um, invest in. Okay. So the GI Joe stuff, I probably well, it's for sale, but I and I have the components, but I don't know if they're complete. Okay. So I'd hate to sell them to you, especially at the price that I would want for them. Sure because I don't know 100% if they're complete. They're in these boxes down through here. So I know I have a complete G.I. Joe base and then that terror drone right there is complete, but they're so valuable and I don't want to give you something if it's not complete. Sure, sure. So the G.I. Joe stuff and then anything new, like you probably wouldn't want these anyway. I've just recently purchased, like they just re-released like the Star Wars stuff. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. and the, Like the old school. Yeah. And they just re-released the He-Man stuff. Yeah, I've so, seen those in the store. So I bought a bunch of these. These are these are basically just to put back because I don't yeah. think they'll be a, uh, they're like uh, I've done for for whatever reason new toys now get valuable faster than the older toys. Really? Used to. It seems like they have shortened the runs of stuff. Mm -hmm. For for example, Noah liked Transformers. Well, there's there's been several iterations of uh younger kids transformer cartoons a couple years ago there was robots in disguise and it was on netflix well the toys for those i would buy him one and i would buy me one and keep it mm -hmm. i wish i'd bought more because within a year and a half they they had one character episodes like they would introduce a different character yeah well those characters became extremely rare like the 10 that I had that I paid 10 bucks a piece for mm -hmm. never sold under 75 bucks each oh, in man. a year and a half. That's how quickly they gained wow. equity ec or worth. Yeah. So he wants to make a pile. Yep. Whatever you want. All right, man. Um, if you see, if we grab something that you don't want to sell, just say the word. Okay. I'm just like in heaven. Nice. This is picking heaven right here. So mine is like this circle right here okay. and then like the fan and the case All and right. then what's over there. Okay. So you feel free to dig in some of these bags. I got, I took two totes of clothing and I put them in Ikea bags. Okay. You got your boxes back there. Too. I got four boxes back there. Two are starting to line up. One's Hallmark ornaments. Okay. One's a miscellaneous like Star Wars, Harry Potter, that stuff. Okay. 
All right. So you want the bag too? Yeah, I think so. Okay. About 600 bucks. Gotta go higher than that. I'm thinking 800. Mm. Okay. 800. So you got it. All right. Appreciate you, Kevin. No problem, man. And then I didn't go through. We'll go through this. And then I didn't go through the Pokemon yeah, stuff. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, so I'm these two IKEA bags and okay. then those two boxes and that bag. All right. What are you thinking? I know it's your stuff. How about 250? No. It's enough. Shoot me a number. 400. Deal. All right. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again, man. Yeah. This was fun. I'm, I'm so glad y'all came. I, yeah, I hate to rush y'all off because I, I meant to have all my stuff done before you got here. but. Well, when you sell on the level that you do, you got a lot to ship out. All right, guys. I've been back home from Tennessee now for a few days. Just not getting a chance to record the end of this video. We were at Kevin's place for about three hours, and my camera like shut off at some point. So I didn't get to capture everything that I found, but I'll do a quick run through and show you guys what I got. Got a whole bunch of baseball gloves. I mean, there's a ton of them in here. Um, some of them I'll probably list individually, but a lot of them I'm just gonna do a big auction. I'll probably wait until like February, right before baseball season starts, and I'll do a big auction for those. Got a handful of golf clubs, um, some drivers, wedges, got a couple bats. This Coca-Cola golf bag I thought was really cool. I'm gonna put that in the antique booth. Got a handful of clothing, uh, some jackets, some shirts, some breakfast club shirt. I thought that was pretty cool. Like some North Face. There's some good clothing he had. And I know he wasn't crazy about listening, so I was trying to take some of that off his hands. So I got a Del Curry bobblehead, a few calculators, some Zippo lighters. Let's see what we got in here. I bought, I think, two boxes of starting lineup figures. Um, Kevin had bought a big thing of toys a few months back, and he had listed through most of it, and he wasn't crazy about listing the starting lineups. You know, these aren't Super valuable, uh, but they bring a little bit of money, and I can even either put them in my antique booth or load them up. Um, you know, part part of going and seeing Kevin was trying to help him get rid of some stuff he didn't want to mess with and kind of free up some space for some other stuff. So I was trying to balance what I was buying, you know, thinking of Kevin, like what he would maybe want to get rid of. So that's why I bought these. I also got a lot of ornaments, Hallmark ornaments. Gosh, sure, it was like couple hundred of them i listed all of those like right when i got back home like the very next day because christmas is like three weeks away and i know that if i don't sell through a lot of those i'm gonna have to hang on to them for like close to another year to sell them next christmas so that was my top priority to get those listed Kevin, thank you again so much for having us out, man. We had a really good time hanging out and seeing your setup. If you guys aren't already subscribed to Kevin's channel, I highly recommend checking it out. I've learned so much from the guy. He's been selling for 20 years or more. He's been doing this a long time and he knows what he's doing. So it's the Tennessee Picker. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.